Some time ago, I did a review of the Obi Illuminated Telescopic Trekking Poles. Well, now I have their folded illuminated trekking poles. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on them, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Olife for sending out the Glow Walk so that I could share it with you. Now, this is going to be a short video for a couple of reasons. One, a lot of the information I'm going to give you is repeated from the Beam Walk. It's essentially the same pole technically, the difference being, of course, in how it is assembled and a few of the things that I'll share with you. The other reason is they are in the midst of a flash sale right now as I publish this, but it's just about to be over. So you may want to take advantage of the flash sale prices. Now, having said that, Obi does put on sales on a fairly regular basis. So it's worth taking a look at these and then watching for them to go on sale and maybe at a later time. All right, let's get started. All right, before we take a closer look at the hiking pole itself, I want to share with you what it came with. So it came with a manual and good information on this as well as the warranty. It did come with a pair of snow baskets, a pair of mud baskets, there are two batteries, one for each pole, obviously. These are 1300 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt lithium ion rechargeable batteries. And I'll show you how they operate on the poles in a minute. But right now you can see the USB type C charging port here. But if you don't want to use the batteries, you can save a little weight. They give you a pair of caps to replace the batteries. So that saves a few grams if you want to go that route. And the last thing that came with is this charging cable. It is a USB type C charging cable, but it's split into two so you can charge both batteries at the same time. All right, let's go through the physical specs for these uh, units. So weight. 22.6 ounces or 638 grams. That's with the batteries because that's the heavier uh, way it would go. And I wanted to give you that information. The folded length, and this is probably one of the most interesting key features of this. They collapse down to this length, 14.5 uh, uh, inches, 370 millimeters, but they do extend to 44.5 inches or 113 millimeters at their shorters and out to 50 inches or 128 centimeters at their longest. They have an IPX6 waterproof ra uh, rating. So yep, you can walk with these in the rain without any fear of them getting damaged. And they have an impact rating of 1.5 meters. All right, now I'm going to back the camera up so I can show you how these go together and then compare it against the um, beam walk. And I'll talk about its pros and cons. All right, just before I assembled the glow walk, I wanted to show you the beam walk by comparison. So this is the beam walk in its collapsed uh, length. And you can see just how much shorter, I wonder if I can get back far enough, how much shorter the glow walk is. So saves a lot of space in your pack or on the outside of your pack or however you're going to transport them. Okay, so I'm trying to give you both uh, close-ups and distance shots at the same time. You can see they fold up like this and there's a Velcro strap around the outside to kind of keep those things uh, all put together. To assemble it, you can see uh, between each segment, there is a stainless steel cable covered with with a plastic some tubing of some type. So they would actually slide together like this. And you can see how much of a connector there is between the two so that you can, you know, for the strength of it. So that one goes in like this. This one goes in like this. Now you do have to do the following step to keep those things locked in. And right up here, there is a segment that pulls out. Let's see if you can see where this is going. Here we go. And when you pull that segment out, you'll get a click. So there's a button click here. So now this is at its shortest length and those segments are all locked in so they're not going to come apart on you. But there is one more adjustment for a little bit of personalization. So it has the flip lock on the outside here that you would open up, lengthen to the whatever the distance you wanted at, and then lock it into place. And that's, that's how that operates. So um, yeah, very simple operation, very compact. Now, as far as the lights it goes, I will show you this. I just want to shorten it down because it makes it a little bit easier. All right, let's show how we can operate the integrated LED lights just like they have on the beam walk itself. And it operates exactly the same way. So right on top of this cap up here is the on off button. And you would just press this button to turn it on and off. Now there are two 
modes of operation. One is known as motion mode and the other is constant mode. The motion mode allows you to use the hiking poles as you move and uh, the lights will stay on. But the moment you stop moving, within 30 seconds, they start flashing red to let you know that, well, in case you lay them down for whatever reason, so that you don't walk away and can't find them. So that's a keen feature. And at the same time, it's also battery saving. So to turn it on in motion mode, it's just a short press of this button. And then if you want to cycle through low, high, red, and flashing red, you simply hold the button down with your finger. And you can see we're back to low again. Now, if I turn the light off, turn it back on, it has memory for the last mode. Now, if I want to uh, set it in constant mode, I can just long press the button and it'll come on in the brighter white light. Now, it doesn't turn off. It doesn't turn to any of the other colors. So the advantages and disadvantages of the two of them, obviously, if you're actually out hiking and you need to stop for a minute and lay the poles down, uh, they'll conserve batteries within 30 seconds, go to the flashing red and allow you to find them when you come back to the poles. However, if you want to use these as illumination around your campsite, maybe if you have a tent that uses trekking poles as the structure or you have a tarp that you want to use the trekking poles to hold out, then it's a nice feature to be able to turn on that constant white light and have some light around your campsite. So that's the reason for the two of them. And as I mentioned, you if you want to see these operating at night, please go back to that last video and you'll be seeing me out in the woods doing some hiking with them. All right, there's one last thing I want to show you about these poles before we wrap this video up. And I think it's important for people who are trying to decide if they're the right pole for them. So when these arrived, I took a look at them, put them together, assembled them, went through the adjustment process for them. And here's what I've discovered. So right now, this is the pole fully assembled as I showed how to do in a minute ago, but it's at its shortest length in full assembly. And right now, this is just, just at the height that I would use. I am five foot 10. So this actually, I would benefit if it was just a tiny bit lower. My hand was angled down just a tiny bit, but I can get away with using it this, like at this height. The problem is that's the shortest. Uh, now, if I want to adjust the height, or the length of it, I can make them longer out to about there and close them. And you can see how high they are. I don't know how tall you'd have to be in order to make use of them at this height, but uh, anybody any shorter than me is going to find that these poles are a little bit too long. And I just wanted to point that out so you were aware of it if you're interested in purchasing them. All right, let's wrap this video up. This has been a very, very short video because I wanted to get it out there so you can take advantage of the flash sale if you're able to. If you don't make the flash sale before its end date, that's okay. You can still purchase these. And Olife did give me a 10% off code, which I'll put in the video description if you want to apply that. But my suggestion is wait for another flash sale and you'll save yourself a few dollars on these. So I have only had these for a very short period of time. I have not spent a lot of time testing them out, but I can tell from the quality of the construction, they're every bit as good as the beam walk was. In fact, I'm actually very impressed with how well these work. The only con that I can see with them is that length adjustment. And I have sent messages off to Olife about that just to see if there is a version two going to come out or if there was in fact two different sizes that I wasn't aware of. I don't see that on their website, but maybe there is. And well, if I have an answer to that before this video goes out to uh, publication, then I'll put that in the video description below. Okay, so it appears to be a very good quality. The lights work very well as they did with the beam walk. What more can I say? If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below. All the information I have will be in the video description below, including the links. Until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.